This is Anwar, the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. In 1960, the federal government placed its first protections on the area to preserve its unique wildlife, wilderness, and recreational values. In 1980, it was expanded to about 19.6 million acres, an area about the size of South Carolina. There's one part of the refuge, known as the 1002 area, that always gets the most attention. So who cares about the 1002 and why? If we were able to access this small area within the coastal plain, that we can gain access to an estimated 10.3 billion barrels of oil. Turns out this 1.5 million acre chunk of Anwar, also known as the coastal plain, could be sitting on a very valuable resource. Federal researchers think there's somewhere between 4.3 and 11.8 billion barrels of oil beneath the 1002 area. That could mean it holds one of the three biggest oil fields in Alaska. And it's this section of land that Senator Murkowski and at least one native corporation and many in the oil industry want access to. However, these aren't the only folks that are interested in this slice of land. The coastal plain is considered the heart of the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, and it includes calving grounds for the large porcupine caribou herd. The Gwich'in people have relied on that caribou herd for food, shelter, and clothing for generations. Some Alaskans and environmentalists want to permanently protect the coastal plain. They argue the area is one of the last refuges for important and threatened species, including the polar bear. Groups favoring development say the Trans-Alaska pipeline is rapidly running out of oil, and Anwar could help fill it, but questions remain. How much oil is actually in the refuge? How easy would it be to get that oil out of the ground? How much money would flow to the state if we drilled for oil in the refuge? And how could the Trump administration affect all of this? Follow Alaska's Energy Desk as we explore those questions and more about the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge and its uncertain future.